As we attend the 2019 RV industry shows, a few things have become apparent, and that is that RV designers and manufacturers are getting bolder and more creative in their thinking, thus giving us some exciting new RVs to choose from. One of the most obvious changes is in the exterior colors, and we're not talking about the trim color, we're talking about the unit's overall color. For example, this year we're seeing a lot more black and gray RVs, along with some other very unique colors. And if you notice, many of these trailers are a solid color without stripes and decals. Is this the look of the future? When it comes to RV interiors, we're seeing more designers leaning toward the yacht or European style and look. Gone are the wood panel walls and wood finished cabinets. Instead, we're seeing clean looking white or off-white walls and cabinetry with occasional wood trim for accents. I think the best way to describe this new look is clean, luxurious, and practical. Another trend we're seeing is increasing the living space with the use of canvas pop-ups and pop-outs, along with full room extensions. We saw many examples of these canvas extensions on everything from camping trailers to Class B motorhomes and even Jeeps. As we look around at all the new units being introduced this year, one thing that stands out is the number of camping and travel trailers with that rugged, off-the-grid military look. In some cases, the look is strictly cosmetic, and that others are in fact designed for rugged, off-the-road use. Either way, it's an interesting new look. As long as we're talking about extensions, of course we can't forget our four-legged family members. How about this cool pet extension we saw just this past week? Coming up after the break, we'll check out an experimental prototype travel trailer from KZRV. Aquacam Tossins, so fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. The new RVX show was created to have both RV manufacturers and suppliers showcase their newest products, and in some cases, even prototype products that may not even get into production, at least for a while. This is the Sonic X, and um we were challenged uh, to build something new and exciting for the, the RVX here in Salt Lake City and we really kind of got the team together and I had a dream of let's build something that's going to work uh, anytime you want to go camping. So uh, we saw some different samples uh, you know, a little while back of some carbon fiber from Lamlux and I said, man, we've got to make this thing carbon fiber. So that's the most dramatic thing. When you walk up to this coach, the fi carbon fiber exterior is absolutely stunning and uh, kind of morphed from there. Uh, we said, how would you go camping or what do we want this coach to do? When you say you want to go anywhere, anytime, what does that mean? Um, so then that's when the wheels started spinning. So uh, I'm an off-road enthusiast, I'm an outdoors person, and uh, a lot of our team are. So we just kind of got together and it just kept building it. Uh, the hardest thing about building this coach was saying no, because we pretty much said yes to everything. The outside of this coach is completely unique. Um, from the ground up, uh, obviously the carbon fiber is what you see first uh, when you walk up to it, but you also see the real aggressive off-road stance. Uh, we put torsion axles on it with 30 inch tires, uh, off-road tires to give it a nice uh, high ground clearance. It also gives you a great uh, entrance and departure angle. So that was all part of the design that we said we want to go anywhere, we meant it. Uh, as you look around the coach, there's actually Nerf bars completely surrounding the coach uh, 360 degrees. Uh, with carbon fiber, you want to make sure that you protect, you know, a valuable asset like that. So we wanted the Nerf bars to take the hit. Um, 
as you kind of walk around the coach, there's a lot of nice things to take a look at up front. Uh, we have a custom, uh, fully adjustable BAL bike rack system that will carry four bikes up front. Uh, and then on the back, we have not only a place to carry wood or your coolers, but you can carry two kayaks on the back. So four bikes and two kayaks, uh, plus extra coolers and gear uh, on the coach, you immediately notice that right away. One of the things that you don't really see right off the bat are the solar panels. We have nine 110 watt uh, solar, flexible solar panels up top, uh, feeding down into a completely controlled uh, nine lithium ion batteries in its own compartment. So this thing has virtually endless power. So if you wanna go out at night, um, you wanna keep your lights on, uh, you got more than enough power to go days, uh, even in partial sunlight, the thing uh, will keep charged. It'll charge whether you're pulling it down the road with your car, it'll charge if you plug it in or into a generator. Um, the other thing you'll notice in the back uh, is actually we did an infinite water system, which is kind of neat because uh, what we wanted to do is we put two 40 gallon holding tanks in it. Normally a coach this size, you don't have a, a 40 or a 45. We wanted to have more than that. So we're carrying nearly a hundred gallons of water. And if you're dry camping for a week, hundred gallons sounds like a lot, but it's not that much. So we put in an infinite water system that allows you to take a hose, put it into a stream, a lake, a bucket of water that you got from somewhere else and refill your water tanks. And a lot of people are thinking, what, through it from a stream? Well, if you just want to fill your water tanks for flushing your toilets or anything like that, it actually has a water, five micron water filter system that can be expanded to any type of water system uh, filtration that you want. So no matter where you are, you can find some water and get it back into your coach and refill your tank. So that was a real important aspect of it. You know, as an outdoor person, um, you know, one of the things that you're going to be doing is you have gear with you and sometimes gear, gear breaks. So on the front and on the back, each on the front, there's two 40 inch and on the back, there's two 40 inch uh, LED lights that are producing over 64,000 lumens of, of light. So we wanted to really light up the back or the front of the coach. So that if your truck breaks down, if your bicycle breaks down, or if your fishing rod needs to be repaired, uh, you've got enough light to sit out there under the stars and kind of get it done. We had a lot of fun on the inside of the coach. Um, not only does it have a Murphy bed, um, which has been done, we do that in our current Sonic lineup, uh, but all of the furniture is custom made. We worked with a boat uh, furniture manufacturer mm -hmm. to really make the furniture soft, uh, custom density foams, but it's also very, very durable. You know, it's meant to be out on a pontoon boat that can just withstand sun and spills and everything with midnight black accents, which tie into the, you know, to the exterior. So we want it to be really comfortable so that if you are a couple and then you got some friends out in the tent, you have a bad uh, couple of days of rain, you can get in, you can watch a movie. Um, you can watch a movie on the outside as well. Uh, the outside has a TV and a uh, Bluetooth soundbar and a PlayStation 4, so you don't have to necessarily wrap, rough it without uh, having your game system along with you. Um, as you look around the coach, uh, you got a custom butcher block uh, dinette table, which is uh, a little overkill, but looks absolutely fantastic, designed by your own interior designer. Uh, solid surface countertops, convection microwave um, are just a few of the examples in here. But we got a few trick features too. Uh, right when you walk in the entry door, there's a hidden panel that you can charge your phones and uh, check your uh, different supplies of power. Um, you also have Bluetooth ready leveling system with a four point leveling system. Uh, that's over by the other entertainment center. But uh, the bathroom has a custom vanity that's a two tier vanity to give you more room for your uh, essentials. And then in the wardrobe closet, we got a few more surprises. We build in a uh, fully lockable wall safe um, and then a hidden large compartment for other uh, larger gear, for guns, fishing poles, uh, any of your larger gear that you want to keep out of sight, out of mind uh, when you're out kayaking. Like we said, the Sonic X is an experimental prototype, but who knows? We just may see it or a version of it in the near future.